Great people of Benin Kingdom, home and abroad, I bring you warm greetings from the cradle of culture and civilization. May this present phase pass, leaving us in a sound and healthy state. My name is Mosais Unaya Wawoka Aifianfua Obakbolegi, a true son of the soil who is proud to share from the pride of great Benin origin, where the king is truly king, and the people enjoy pride and dignity because of our beautiful history, which was well earned by our illustrious ancestor Obas. In recent times, some unscrupulous retrogressive lying louts, desirous of casting aspersions on the collective integrity of the kingdom, have yet again fabricated another white lie. This time, they have rumored that one of the royal queens in the harem of his royal majesty, Omonoba Ewai Nogeva Nogidiga, has left the royal palace. A fallacy that is entirely untrue true even in the hearing of the incorrigible liars who find solace in cooking up stories that are unfounded perhaps a mere figment of their devious imagination. Let it be abundantly clear that the highly exalted throne of Great Bene Kingdom is highly revered. The palace is a haven of bliss and comfort and the citadel of our traditions, customs and values comparable to no other in the world. What these lords have done is sacrilegious, mundane, a taboo that can be equated with treason and a crime against God and the ancestors of our land because the Oba is God's representative on earth. Oba no godua wiakpa muna, the home leopard who always leads his subject to safety and rides the path of justice and equity. For the information of these treacherous liars, the lovely Emiratic queens of His Royal Majesty of Monoba Nedu, Kuakporopolo, Ewai the Second Nogidiga, are happy in the harem and comfortable with every need and luxury as can be enjoyed in life. It is also sacrosanct in the sacred tradition of our great Benin kingdom that the tree that cautioned the bosom of the home leopard is prohibitive to any other creature. This has been the tradition since the foundation of great Benin kingdom. It is therefore provoking, insulting, and demeaning for anyone to debase the highly exalted palace of the Oba of Benin. Such a one is directly incurring the irreversible cause and wrath of God, the land, and our ancestors. It has become abundantly clear that those persons now are washed with shame because of the firm stand of His Majesty against vices in the land such as human trafficking and land speculation, a decision that has brought pride and honor to the Edo race globally. The best these misguided louts can do is to repent and beg for clemency from the Oba and appeal for mercy of the entire kingdom whose wrath they have incurred by their nefarious action. We thank Thank His Royal Majesty, Omonoba Ewai no Giva no Gidiga, for a very peaceful reign. He has indeed restored the dignity of Edo race globally. What is more, he has been a spiritual father who has made several sacrifices and atonement that has protected the entire Benin race from any misadventure. Uwese Omogun, Ekmenowa, Oba no Wodwa Wiakpamuna, he said, 